everyone! Welcome to our Scientific Friday! I am Teacher Janelle and I'm on a journey to understanding the different things around us. Ready to join? Come on and let's see how science is everywhere! Let us start with ourselves. Try looking at the mirror. What do you see? Beautiful? Handsome? Now, I have another question. How are you feeling right now? Do you feel energetic? Sick? Mm, hungry? Whatever you are feeling right now, that is your body telling you that it needs something. Come and join me in understanding our body! Today, we are going to talk about on how we can take care of our body. In this topic, we will discover the following. What are the needs of our body? Why is it important to take care of our body? How do we take care of our body? Ready to start this journey of discovery? Alright, let's begin. As we move, play, and do different things each day, we may get tired. And so our body has to be provided with its essential needs, such as clean water, air, food, clothes, and shelter. We need water because everything that happens inside our body requires water. Air is important because it has oxygen, which our body uses in order for us to breathe. Food serves as our source of energy. Like a car, our bodies need fuel in order for us to move. We need clothes because it protects us from insect bites and it keeps us warm during rainy and sunny season. And finally, we need shelter for us to be protected from rain, strong wind, hot sunny season, and harmful animals. Now that we learned our body's needs, try to check this out. Do you drink a lot of water? Does your place have enough air? Do you eat a lot of food? Do you wear clothes? And do you have a shelter to live in? If your answer to all the questions is yes, then good for you. Your body definitely gets what it needs. Hmm, but these essentials are not enough. As owners of our bodies, we need to take care of it. Imagine having water and air, but it's dirty. Or wearing sunny clothes on a rainy weather. How about eating food, but only junk foods? Giving our bodies need is right, but we should provide what is appropriate. Having water means having access to clean water. Don't just drink water from your faucet. Unclean water contains dangerous organisms that may be poisonous for your body and may cause stomach ache. Having clean air means being surrounded with trees that converts carbon dioxide from cars and other smoke into oxygen, the air we breathe. 
Having clothes means you wear them according to the weather. If the weather is sunny, you should wear something comfortable that would keep your body feeling cool. But if the weather is rainy, you should wear something that would keep your body warm. Having food means you eat nutritious food, not just any kind of healthy food. It must contain the right amount of vitamins and nutrients that your unique body needs. Taking care of our body is important for us to avoid getting sick or injured. Especially during this time, we need to be very careful and self-conscious. As little kids, you move around and play a lot, right? Your body may get easily scratched when you stumble or fall down. Again, try to check this out. Do you easily get colds and coughs? Do you play a lot and get easily scratched or get bumped? If all your answers are no, then that's great. But if your answers are yes, hmm, you need to take care more of your body. We can take care of our bodies in two major ways. First, by keeping our body healthy. Second, by keeping our body safe. We keep our body healthy by doing these practices. First, eating nutritious food. Not just any food, it must be nutritious. Meaning, these foods must contain the right vitamins and nutrients that your body needs in order for you to have more energy, in order for you to grow according to your age, and to keep you strong against viruses and bacteria. Second, washing your hands and taking a bath. Our hands and body cannot avoid touching the different things around us, and it may cause the bacteria or virus to transfer from the object to your hands. And finally, inside your body, when you touch your eyes, nose, ears, and mouth. And so, washing hands is very important before and after holding objects, eating, and finally touching your family. Did you know that washing your hands at least 20 seconds can kill viruses? Come on and join me and let's do the proper hand washing steps together. Like this. Rub your hands and then do your fingers and then your nails and then your palm and then your thumb. And you're ready to rinse your hands with clean water. Third, brushing your teeth. Just like our hands and our body, we must brush our teeth to avoid cavities. You must brush your teeth at least three times a day. Having decayed and aching teeth will keep us from enjoying the food we love to eat. Fourth, doing exercise. When we exercise regularly, our bodies will not easily get tired from doing simple tasks. It also helps you burn the excess food inside your body. Fifth, having enough rest. After a very tiring day, taking a rest is very important. Sleeping Eight hours a day will regenerate our energy and help us get ready for the next day. Sixth, going to the doctor for a regular checkup. We don't go usually to the doctor unless we are sick. But 
Did you know that we must regularly visit our doctor to check our health and to give us the necessary advice to keep ourselves healthy? Do you really take care of your body? Let's see by answering these questions. How often do you wash your hands and take a bath? How often do you eat nutritious food? How often do you brush your teeth? How often do you exercise? How long do you sleep? And how often do you go to your doctor for a regular checkup? If your answers are always, every day, or more than enough, then you're terrific! But if your answer is other than that, hmm, I guess you should pay more attention in taking care of your body. After learning how to keep our body healthy, now let us learn how to keep our body safe. And we can do this by following these small pieces of advice. First, walking gently, especially when going up and down the stairs. This is to avoid falling and also breaking your bones or getting a scratch. Second, staying at home during rainy days. This is to avoid from getting colds or walking in dirty floods on the streets. Floods are dirty water that has bacteria that may enter your body through your feet. Third, wearing face masks when you have cough and cold. Always wear a face mask. This is to keep other people from getting cough and cold. Fourth, staying on the sidewalks when walking around the streets. Cars, trucks, and other vehicles are too big for you. So, you must keep walking on the sidewalks only so that you can avoid getting hit by cars. Fifth, avoiding to run when the floor or street is rocky or bumpy. Running around is fun, but when you are running in the street or floor that is rocky or bumpy, you might slip or get a scratch. Sixth, gently holding sharp objects. Using sharp objects such as scissors and knives are too dangerous for you. You must always ask your parents' help to avoid pricking your eyes or skin. Seventh, setting enough time for your gadgets. Your eyes may get tired a lot when you use your gadgets for a long time. You must set boundaries and bond with your family and friends or just tuck and rest in your bed. Now, is your body safe? Try answering these questions. Do you walk gently when going up and down the stairs? Do you stay at home during rainy days? Do you stay on sidewalks when walking around the streets? Do you look where you're going when running? Do you ask for help when holding a sharp object? And do you limit your time when using your gadget? Whew! Today was very scientific! We were able to discover that our bodies have different needs such as water, air, food, shelter, and clothes. It is important that we take care of our body to avoid getting sick or getting injuries. 
we can take care of our body by keeping it healthy and safe. We can keep our body healthy by keeping our hands, teeth, and body clean, eating nutritious food, doing exercise, having enough rest, and having a regular checkup. We can keep our body safe by walking gently, wearing face masks, staying at home during rainy days, gently holding sharp objects, and setting just the right time in using your gadgets. I hope you learned a lot today. Join me again for our next Scientific Friday. And together, let us discover things around us because science is everywhere. This has been Teacher Janelle for Teacher Vival. Goodbye!